What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and um this one's a really really long time in the making. Uh let me just say right now, this was supposed to be for 400 subscribers. Right now we're over 500. Thank you everyone who subscribed and who checked out the video, but um I'm sorry I haven't made this video yet. There's a couple reasons, and you'll see that one, it's my indecisiveness, and two, it's the fact that I know I wanted to put a lot of time into this video, so... Let's, uh, let's get into what the topic of today's video is. I mean, you guys see the video title, but we are going over my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Again, this was supposed to be for 400 subscribers, but here we are now, so, uh, first... I'm sorry, I, I already said I'm, I'm indecisive, and you guys already know that about me, but let me just say that we should get into the honorable mentions. I'm not going to go in depth, I'm just going to say what they are, because there's another 10 of them! There's 10 entire honorable mentions before the 10 actual favorite games of all time for me. So, just to quickly spout them all out, there's a... In no particular order... There's Pokemon Sword Shield, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, NBA 2K, Super Mario World, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game, yes I'm serious, that is a great game, Wii Sports Resort, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Mario Party 5, by far my favorite Mario Party game, Mario Party Superstars, until this one came out at least, then finally Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, I... I barely, at the, at the time of recording, I barely got my shiny Chimchar, and I'm currently hunting shiny Starly, but I still know that these are going to be some of my favorite games. And the rest of the nine, all ten of these are all my some of my favorite games of all time. They don't make the list, but they clearly need some attention just for this quick moment. But now, with all of these thrown into my top 20, I guess... Let's get into my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Alright, you can hear the music already. This game actually made it into my top 10. My number 10 favorite video game of all time is Mario Super Sluggers. I am not even joking. I might not have put it here. If I didn't stream it so much, I, it was already in my honorable mentions, and like over over the past few months I've moved around the games, I'm not even joking. I really have been that indecisive, and that is why this video is taking this long. But this is my number 10 favorite video game of all time. I don't even watch baseball in real life. I played it as a kid, but I still love this game so much. It is the only baseball video game I'll probably ever play in my entire life. It is... Probably my favorite Mario sports game, or it, it, I guess it is now. So it, it just shows how good of a game this is. This is one of the best Mario games I've ever played. It's such a good sports game. The character selection, the gameplay itself, the fact that I can crush any opponent, any any uh, CPU opponent, even at the highest difficulty. Like there, there's there's actually multiple things to do, and a story mode where you can unlock the characters individually. It is just a great game. You guys have seen me play it on Twitch. If you have not, just check out one of these YouTube videos because they, they're all VODs from when I played Mario Super Sluggers. So, like, I can't believe it, but Mario Super Sluggers is my 10th favorite video game of all time. Number 9... Okay, just to say right now, none of these should be a surprise, for the most part, if you know me or watch my videos or my Twitch streams. But number 9 is easily Pokemon Battle Revolution. Now, I have not played this on Twitch that much, and that's, be that's because I don't have the original save file for my original Wii as a kid. So I, I was using rentals and stuff. But don't get me wrong, this is one of my favorite games growing up. I played for many, many hours in this game. You have to... You're, you use your DS Pokemon, your save file, you transfer them over, so, I've d so I have not played with actual, like, non-rentals in a long time, but I still know, just from the music alone, watching Twitch plays Pokemon on Twitch, and what they do now with the- they, they do gambling with Battle Revolution. This is one of my favorite, like, atmospheres a Pokemon game has ever made. It's pretty much 
like arenas with Pokemon battles, so it sounds like Sword Shield, but it's just the it's just such an epic atmosphere. I don't know how to describe it. I literally just need you to see gameplay one way or another to know how I feel because this game I will I will keep saying that I want a game like this again, but at this point there's not really a, a point to that. Long story short, this game came at the perfect time, like during Gen 4, to make Gen 4 Pokemon 3D. And it wasn't like certain games before it, but it definitely was epic and the announcer was top tier. So Pokemon Battle Revolution is definitely my number 9 favorite video game of all time. You know this music, and if you don't, I'm about to tell you. Tied for my number 8 favorite video game of all time are Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. These games, they're not completely the same game, obviously, but they're still tied because they're generally the same concept. They're, they have Shadow Pokemon. They're both epic as heck. They're both great 3D representations of Pokemon. I want games like this back. I, I hinted about it with the Battle Revolution entry, just so I can say this now and bring these games up, that I definitely want a game like this again. I need a full main series, or at least side game like this, Shadow Pokemon themed plot, because this, these games, are, these games are unstoppable. These are, these are the best Pokemon side games of all time, in my opinion, in my interest. These are absolutely must plays if you've never played them before. You'll have a great time. They're kind of difficult, but you'll have a fantastic time playing them. I swear, if there's any other game where you can get a Lugia this epic, it probably still won't be as good as this one because these games were so top tier. I know I said no actual evidence for these games, but that's just because I don't know what else to say. They're, they're straight up pure nostalgia for me, but at the same time, they're still incredible, incredibly good games. Like, I get transported to a different place for, straight from nostalgia when I play these again. And I don't think any other game will do it the same way that these two did. So Pokemon Coliseum and XD Gale Darkness are tied for my 8th favorite video game of all time. Please Game Freak make Shadow Pokemon games again. Now, for um, number 7, this was a game that I completely had out of the list, and then as time went on, I was like, how is this game not here? And especially when I replayed this game on Twitch and started speedrunning it. I haven't done it in a while, but then I was like, hey, this is absolutely a top tier game. Why didn't I remember putting this on my favorite games of all time list? So my number seven favorite video game of all time is Super Mario Odyssey. Finally, a platformer Mario game is on this list. I'm surprised it took this long already. But to be fair, it's a good thing because this game's absolutely phenomenal. I've said this before that I, this game feels like a movie. It feels like you're playing the script of a movie because it's just... It's so... It just feels more like story and plot driven for some reason even though there's the other games in Mario are also incredibly... Like... Story... Book driven like that. I don't know. It's just... There's some feeling about this game, the cappy, the fact that it's not levels, it's just open worlds. It's such a fantastic game. My first playthrough of this when the game came out was literally life-changing. It's it's when I got my Switch, my, my mom and brother surprised me with a Mario Odyssey themed Switch. And I didn't have a Switch at the time, so I had Switch and Odyssey, that's all I had. I played the heck out of this game, I 100 percent it the first time I played it, 999 Moons. This is literally a must-play for any person that owns a Switch. If you haven't played it, I swear, I will buy the game for you. Maybe. But this game is always going to be top tier. It's always going to be a great game. And for now, it stays number 7 on my favorite video games of all time. Alright, my number 6 favorite video game of all time is kind of a tricky one again. It's another double game, but this time they kind of are the same game. Because my number 6 favorite video game of all time are Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. Specifically Moon and Ultra Moon because those are the ones I played. Lunala is my favorite legendary, my favorite shiny Pokemon of all time. 
Gen 7 is one of my favorite generations of all time. I will absolutely stand behind that no matter what. It, it is, it should, I love Gen 7 so much. I love Alola. This is literally an Alola map. Like, I love Gen 7 with all my heart. All, like, most of the mods, let's just say it. The themes of the games, the, the stories of the games are great. Most of the Pokemon are phenomenal. The region is fantastic. It had such a... I don't know, like, it was just... A, it was just great. I don't even know. I'm speechless. I literally don't know what to say offhand. I need to have, like, written an, es an essay for this. Like, I just don't know why people don't like this gen so much, besides the whole gym leader change of the formula thing. I don't even think that matters. This is the generation where this brought me... I, I wasn't, like out of Pokemon, but this gave me a full resurgence into it completely, again. It, it was the generation that I started shiny hunting in. It has one of my favorite gimmicks with the Ultra Wormhole. It has most of my favorite Pokemon of all time now, with especially Lunala. The stories are fantastic. Most of the characters are great. It's just, I don't know what else to tell you. Please, like, if you have not played Gen 7 and you own a 3DS, I don't know why you haven't played it. I'm just gonna say that about all these games, obviously, but, like, I just always will love Gen 7. Even the music. Right now, what you're hearing? The music was phenomenal in these games. So, my number six favorite video game of all time are Sun Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. Absolutely. We are officially in, the, in my top 5 favorite video games of all time. Let me just say, if you thought we were done with Pokemon, you clearly are a new time viewer, so thank you for stopping by and watching this video. But with all that aside, my number 5 favorite video game of all time is Pokemon Heart Gold. I've played this game many times, randomized it many times, even nuzlocked it on my Twitch channel, which is now a YouTube series here. I just... I love the heck out of, I love the heck out of Johto. Like I love the heck out of Johto because of this game. Johto going into Kanto was fantastic. Like it's Gen 4. We've already established here that's my favorite generation of Pokemon. It came with the Pokewalker for crying out loud back in the day. That was so fun too. Like this game was a completely fantastic necessary game for Johto. And I, ju I I can't wait for another Johto game eventually. Hopefully that the time comes for that. And I just, I, like it's just a great game. It's a great fun game. The double region's always fantastic, and with all those things, including the the Ho Oh, because Ho Oh is now one of my favorite Pokemon ever too. With all those things said, Pokemon Heart Gold is my fifth favorite video game of all time. We're in number four now, and um, let me just say that maybe besides Mario Super Sluggers being number 10, this is probably like the shocking game, the most shocking game on this list. Not because of the game itself, just because like I have yet to play it on Twitch or talk about it much, but there's no, there's no denying that this almost could be my top three favorite video games of all time. But definitely, my fourth favorite video game of all time, most deserving of it, is Super Paper Mario. Oh my goodness. This is, this, literally, this is one of my favorite Mario games of all time. This game is so good. This is my favorite Paper Mario game. Thousand in Your Door is amazing, but Super Paper Mario just took, like, the story aspect one step further for me. Like, the mechanics that Thousand Year Door had, I love the story that Super Paper, Super Paper Mario had instead. I can't even... That's like a tongue twist. That's like a tongue twister at this point. Uh, the, the story's amazing. The combat I like, it doesn't have the traditional RPG style battling anymore, which is kind of not great. But it's not... To be fair, for me, it's not missed that much because all of the pixels are so cool. And the fun fact on my Twitch channel... The, uh, my raid alert song is literally from this game. It's like the area that I'm, the song I'm playing right now, the entrance theme into that area. This game just dominates every other game, like, that I play. Almost every other game, apparently. And, like, I, I don't know how much more to vouch for it, to be honest. The, the pixel mechanics are awesome. The 3D to 2D mechanic is 
phenomenal. One of my favorite gimmicks of a video game of all time. Literally flipping between 2D and 3D because you're a piece of paper is so funny and legit awesome at the same time. So the story and the gimmicks are well enough for this to be one of my top five, top four apparently, and almost top three favorite video games of all time. Super Paper Mario is my fourth favorite video game of all time. Now, my number three favorite video game is the only game of its franchise on this list. It has to be in the top three though. It is by far one of the most played, most treasured video games I've ever had of all time. I'll give you one last hint that the mascot is in my webcam somewhere. But hint over, my number three favorite video game of all time is Sonic Adventure 2. It, it, even if it doesn't function as a fantastic game, it still is a fantastic game. The treasure hunting with Knuckles and Rouge, the regular platforming with, with Sonic Shadow, the mech levels with Tails Eggman, it's all fantastic. The Chow Garden, the Chow Garden is fantastic. The music is fantastic. Literally, Pumpkin Hill, Meteor Herd, Crazy Gadget, Prison Lane is the song you're listening to right now. So many good songs in that game. I will continue to play this game over and over. I just, I don't know what else, like, there's so much replayability just because of the Chows. Like, literally, you can replay all the missions, all the stories, but then just do every single, like, Chow combination you can think of, and it's just fantastic. I, I... This game has been out on so many consoles now because they know it's such a fantastic game. It's gonna be my favorite Sonic game probably forever. I, I don't... I don't know, man. Like, you should play this game. You should play this game, please. Like, it's the only Sonic game that's on this list. Not because I don't like the other Sonic games, but just because all the other games I've played have had, like, I've played m many more hours in. But this game topples all the rest so far. So my number three favorite video game of all time is Sonic Adventure 2. Only two spots left. My number two favorite video game. No anticipation, I'm just gonna say it. It's Pokemon Platinum. It's easily Pokemon Platinum. Easily. You have to have known this about me. Like, this game is gonna be there forever. The reign of Gen 4. Okay, no, I'm just gonna say it. Like, Giratina, Distortion World, Gen 4, the Sinnoh region. Literally everything that has to do with Pokemon Platinum is like one of my favorite things about Pokemon. Like every aspect. The music, the Pokemon, the legendaries, the lore. The dang lore, the mythology of Sinnoh is amazing. I literally, I forgot to, okay. I literally have this Pokemon Platinum Giratina Encounter Cube. I don't know why I forgot to show the Heart Gold one, but let me sh quickly show you the Heart Gold one. There's also this one, so sorry Heart Gold, but to be fair, it's because the Platinum one was the first one I got. Um, the, the, the Sinnoh is literally never going away for me. I will always love Sinnoh. I don't care if it's Gen 4 or these remakes with BDSP. Th this game is going to remain undefeated. This is my favorite Pokemon game, my number two favorite video game, and Giratina is always going to be in my top something favorite Pokemon. So I just, I just hope that everyone loves this game that is watching this, and if you've never played it, please, please go play it. Please, please try it. I don't even have anything else to say. My number two favorite video game is Pokemon Platinum. Did you think anything else was going to be number one? My number one favorite video game of all time is Super Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2. There's no way. Like, you could not have known me and not known this. It, these are not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Literally a once-in-a-lifetime experience for me, basically. When I first played these, however... I forgot however old I was. Like, 12? I don't know. Like, these are, like... A literal experience. These are not video games anymore. Like, these changed my look on video games. Like, I... Probably not really, but you know what I mean. Like, these are literally 
phenomenal video games. Masterful experiences you're gonna have in your life if you play them. Like, if, you, if you've if you still not played these games, I'm sure the first time you're gonna play these is gonna be amazing. The music alone, orchestral music, to Mario running around in space, on planets, flying around destroying Bowser's attempts to conquer the universe? Like, hello? How does that not sound epic to you? Clearly the best Mario video games, in my opinion. My favorite Mario games ever. My favorite video games of all time. I have to include both, I'm sorry. I guess if I had to pick, it would be one, just for nostalgia. But, they're both here, so we're not, we're not picking. They're both here. They are literally... Always gonna be my favorite video games of all time. You take Mario, you take orchestral music, and you take space. That's literally the perfect combination, the perfect formula to make my number one favorite video games of all time. Oh my gosh. And that is my list. That's my list. Those are my top 10 favorite video games of all time with 10 honorable mentions in the beginning. My favorite games are always gonna be Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2. They, I might just... I feel like in 10 years, I'm going to have like five video games tied at number one. But for now, these are always going to be alone at number one. And I, I appreciate, again, once again, this is supposed to be on my 400 subscriber video. But it's now like way after that. So I appreciate all of my however many subscribers I have at this moment. Um, I appreciate everyone that's checked out a video. Subscribe, check out my Twitch channel, my other content, everyone. I appreciate it so much. And if you guys love or like or have played any of these games on my on my top 10 list, let me know what you think about them, if you love them. If you didn't, let me know what you didn't or did like about them. I would love to hear it. What's your guys' favorite games? But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for the support and for watching this video too. And until next time, take care.